Welcome to 734 Games, and this is your host, Tom, coming to you from 734 Games in Washtenaw County. And today we're playing XCOM 2. And in XCOM 2, you get to be a boss. Basically, what XCOM 2 is, is a turn-based strategy game. And it's a pretty good game. I would have to say, I have some, you know, I would have to say there's some things that I don't like about it. Some of the downsides, some of the cons of XCOM 2. Basically, one thing that I do not like is that your soldiers can miss from, like, five feet away. That gets ridiculous because it's randomized and it's all hit point based. And this is not a real-time strategy game. So it's not like um, XCOM, the Bureau Declassified, or anything like that. And that was a really cool game. Very underrated. I That was one I am really was unfortunate they didn't get a sequel. But the original XCOM, Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within, those were good games. And this is the sequel to those games. And those games were turn-based strategy games. And here we go with XCOM 2 on the PlayStation 4. Now beyond the often missing shots when you when you use your enemy, so another thing, or when you're shooting at an enemy or when you're, your um, subordinate is shooting at an enemy, another problem the game has is that you have, the, the, the your guys will sometimes panic if they're not very experienced. At the first part of the game, of course your guys aren't going to be experienced. So they're going to be panicking and you're missing turns. And because this is a turn-based game, it makes this game much harder at the beginning. This game is not very easy. Um, it's like if you're someone who's not used to turn-based strategy games, then you probably, well, let's just say that this is not going to be an easy game at the, at the start for you. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior of time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. What I'm going to say is be prepared for a lot of cheap deaths. And this game is not going to hold back, even on the early levels. Now, if you like that, then I think you'll enjoy that. And if you like, if you're somebody who's 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 played a lot of turn-based strategy games, then you're probably going to love this game. And the graphics are really good. Presentation is excellent. Everything about it. I, I mean, as far as I mean, this is definitely a triple A, you know, turn-based, you know, um, strategy game. But that's kind of weird to see a triple A turn-based strategy game in 2018. But I think after what happened with the Bureau Declassified, we're probably not going to see another real-time strategy game from these guys, and that's unfortunate. If you ever played the Bureau Declassified, you should. That's a really cool game, and I think a lot of you are probably going to enjoy it. As you can tell, the audio and the presentation is great in this game. Um, this game is by was made by was developed by Fraxis Games, and um, it's on the Unreal Engine. Now I looked looked on their site, and it doesn't say which Unreal. Oh, it's Unreal Engine 3.5, so um, it's not Unreal UE4. I, you know, I kind of I mean I like this game. The thing is, I really I'm kind of torn. I like this game, but I really wish they would have made a few more changes. But um, it's still a fun game. It's available on Microsoft Windows, OS X, Linux, PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One. And, um, you know, I, I really enjoyed it. I even though, even, like, I first time I played the, the, not this level here, but the, the, the first actual, you know, real level, not the, not the tutorial, but the first fight after the tutorial, you'll go out there, you'll play this, and you'll, you'll, learn, you'll learn what you need to learn, but you'll go out in the tutorial and get your butt kicked because... It is so much harder, and everything is just turned up, like, to 10. But, I mean, I figured, you know, I got past that. It's a lot of fun. This game, you know, this game, even when it's hard, it makes you want to 
you know, it makes you want to come back and figure out what you did wrong and change things. And um, I really enjoyed it. I'm going to mention the, the, the composer, Timothy Michael Wynn, because the game has really good audio and good music. I mean, I, I really enjoy the music in this game. That's the thing about, like, tactical, um, tactical real-time real and turn-based RPGs. It's always about the music and the voice acting more than it is about the graphics, although this game has the graphics, too. So, I mean, that's what this, this game, that's what makes this game really enjoyable. Uh, on Metacritic, the game did pretty well. It's got an 88 meta score for the critics and a 72 for users. And um, that's pretty good. That's that's pretty good for a game. That's actually really good for a game that's been out as long as this game. And this game has a it has a, a expansion that they put out for it. It's called War of the Chosen. And you can pick that up. I got this game was free on PSN, you know, for PSN Plus members. And I'm really like I got another game for free that I played all the way through and it was Black Ops 3. That was awesome. This is awesome. Sony is really kicking out some really good free games, and this one was one of them that I really that I really think is awesome and really cool. But I really wish they would make another real-time strategy version of this game. And this game will kind of remind you of another really cool series called um, called Shadowrun Returns. That one was really cool, and that one kind of has the same style of gameplay as this. But that this is a lot harder than that one. And that one does not have the voice acting. It has more of the writing on that one is, I mean, probably some of the be best writing for a game I've seen. So, you know, and it was done by the people who did the original game. I guess they, Microsoft owns Shadowrun, but, I mean, the video game rights to Shadowrun, but the guy who made Shadowrun, he bought the rights so he could do the game. And that was pretty cool. This game is obviously owned by 2K, and I hope we see more Sh um, XCOM games. From, from these guys, I hope that they, next time, they hope they, 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 they take this a little bit further, though. You know, ch make some more changes, don't play it so safe. But this is still a really good game, and still very enjoyable. Especially if, you, if you're someone who likes tactical, you know, tactical strategy games. And, I mean, you go to the game, only thing is, this game also has permadeath, which makes it really hard to level your guys up because some of the deaths are so cheap. But I mean, it's like I said, with all the with its, with its flaws and eccentricities, this game is still worth playing, and I think you're going to enjoy it. I enjoyed it. If you've never played a strategy game, this is probably a good one to try. Although, I mean, like I said, it's a, it can be a little daunting for some people, especially if you're not used to this style style of gameplay. And I can see why they kept it. This game came out on the PC first, and I can see why. They're closing in on me. Need to find some new cover. She's calling reinforcements. Stop that. Transmission. Central, reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's going to change. Let's move. Now, I hope you've enjoyed my video. If, you, um, if you're on WordPress and you're watching it, because that's where I, I put my main site is WordPress. It's 734games.com. If you're on there, you can hit the little star, but hit the little star and you can um, subscribe if you're a WordPress member. If you're just watching us on YouTube, hit the bell or hit the like or dislike. And you can hit the subscribe on there, too. And I hope you've enjoyed my videos. I like showing you cool games that I enjoy. Not games that everybody else is showing you. I mean, I, sometimes I do show the games that everybody else is showing. Because if there's a game that I really want to talk about, I just show it. And that's the thing. Mostly I do indies. But I do some triple A's. Like, this game is a triple A with some, you know, indie styleness to it. I would say this has a little bit of indie style to it. Just, you know, as far as still being turn-based in the age of real time. But, I mean... This game is is fun, and you'll enjoy it, and you'll enjoy the presentation. And it's worth picking up, especially if you got a PlayStation, you can still get it for free.
Oh yeah, and before I'm done, before I finish this video, there's some elements I gotta tell you about. Obviously, like um, any you know turn-based or real-time strategy game, in this game you can upgrade your units. You know, as you go through different areas and, and win battles or whatever, you get to you get new technologies. Like what you can do is you'll you'll find something in a in a battle and you'll take it back and you'll have they'll be they'll have you have a scientist there who will you know study the item and and add it to your arsenal or use the technology in some way to help XCOM. So this game, you do level up the, 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 the agency. Or it's not really an agency in this game, it's more of a resistance. In the other games, it was an agency. But we lost, supposedly, the, the human race lost. So now we, um, we're fighting a resistance, and that's what XCOM is. So basically, that's it. XCOM in a nutshell. And that's about it for this episode of 734games.com. This is your host, Tom, signing off. 734 Games, where gaming is alive. Firebrand, this is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. Tell me twice. We're coming home.